Welcome to Invictus Porsche. Today we have this BMW 6 Series. It's a 640i that makes it compliant for many zones around the country where you've got issues uh, such as congestion charge in London where a car has to be ULS compliant and I know similar things are coming into Manchester. A bit of a history about a BMW 6 Series. They were first introduced in 1976 as, uh, as a replacement for the E9. This was very hard act to follow as the E9, especially the three uh, litre CSL nickname, the Batmobile, was one of the most iconic cars of its era. Former Top Gear host Jeremy Clarkson used to own one and still to this day it is the car he regrets selling the most. The biggest change from the E9 to the 6 Series was that the car went from being built on a bespoke platform to sharing a platform with the 5 Series, BMW's mid-sized saloon. The 6 Series was an extremely successful race car, winning 16 touring car championships all over the world and multiple endurance race wins, including the Spa 24 Hours and Nürburgring 24 Hours. After a hiatus during the 90s, the 6 Series was revived in 2003 and it's still being produced to this day. Although it is no longer for sale in the UK, um, in the UK market, the 6 Series uh, the 6 Series lives on spiritually as the BMW 8 Series, BMW's newest flagship luxury GT car. A bizarre thing about the 6 Series was they uh, introduced what BMW called the Grand Coupe. This was a very unusual since this was a four-door version of the two-door version of a four-door car. <laughs> Trying to get this right. <laughs> bit of it. Bit of a bit, bit of a tough thing to say there. This peculiar idea still lives on today with the 8 Series Grand Coupe, interestingly. The car here is an F12 convertible and in, an interesting piece of trivia about this generation of 6 Series is that the convertible version was actually released three months before the Coupe and convertibles also carried on productions seven months after productions ended for the coupes. This generation was only ever offered to the UK market with an automatic gearbox. However, in the American market, a six-speed Gitkag manual gearbox was offered on the 650 and M6 compared to our eight-speed automatic and seven-speed dual clutch, which was only available on the M6. Now, this is a carbon black metallic and in bright sunlight, it has a hue of a blue. This also has the M aerodynamic package. Additionally, now coming over to the alloys right here, they come with a 19 inch style 531 factory alloy wheels. It's got the park distance controls, both the front and the rear and the LED fog lights. Where it gets really interesting because that's my favorite part right here because this is where I'll spend the majority of my time Obviously alongside the steering wheel. This has the Amaro brown merino leather interior And for those of you that are a bit geeky like me that extra spec optional cost a whopping 4,300 pounds gosh The first owner really had a lot of money and that's a good thing because you want to buy a car that the first owner specced which a friend of mine messaged me the other day on, on one of our YouTube videos, buy a car with good spec, and this is one of those cars. Now, it's got Cantra stitching, leather covered instrument panels, front, he uh, front heated sports seats, M leather steering wheel, Bluetooth connectivity with wireless phone charging, professional navigation system, DAB tuner, tire pressure display systems, um, WLAN hotspot, uh, piano black interior trim strips, interior slash exterior mirror with auto dip, intelligent emergency call, teleservices, meaning you can book yourself a nice massage should you want to, connected drive services, remote services, multifunctional instrumental display. I think this spec is absolutely something which is, let's go. A bit of history with us because we knew the customer uh, that originally bought this and got this spec and the history is basically we've really taken good care of this for so from an ownership perspective it has had two owners since new 
and in terms of services the first service was done at 5,835 miles second one was done at 12,809 miles 17,901 25,500 sorry 26,598 miles which was last done at BMW Battersea in London by the uh, current owner now I want to give you the numbers as well I want you to know the technical bits which is very fascinating this is a 3 litre turbo straight 6 engine 316 uh, brake horsepowers it produces 450 meters of Newton uh, meters of torque not to 62 is done in 5.5 seconds and the mpg which is what impresses me the most it produces 37 mpg impressive given its weight and use of such a big engine in contents as brilliant as ours and sunset like this please comment like and subscribe we would really appreciate your feedback and you know anything you can tell us in terms of what we have done wrong and what we could improve so we can carry on thriving forward in a very very positive nature thank you very much hey ho ciao ciao